I think my, my sexuality has definitely been in in, in topic in, in in social media about is he gay? He wears heels. He puts on makeup. Um, and I've always just my aunt has always been it's none of their business my sexuality or where I put my penis really. So um, I don't care what people think, and their opinions of me mean nothing to me. Uh, my name is Sivan Gersi. I'm very humble, quiet, and opinionated. And I play Colin on your Christmas. My name is Sia Raymond Spudigale, and I play Charles on your Christmas. My name is Ndobe Gossish, and I play Motel on your Christmas. Awesome, guys. Now, I want to know if you guys could buy any, any like the person next to you, a Christmas gift post, uh, based on their personality, what would you get them? Can I buy you something? Um, he's got such a husky voice, I would buy him halls. <laughs> <laughs> um, based on what I know, I, I, I would buy, I'd buy this guy a pair of heels and I'd buy this guy like, uh, like a mic. Yeah, um, yeah I was going to say heels for him. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Outlandish. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. A, a barber or something. A barber? A barber. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we played lunch for this experience. <laughs> yeah. And then I'd buy him a, 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 a mixing set because he's, he's, he's now doing music, a lot of music, mm. that mixing set to make beats. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, but a barber. Tell us Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See so, ya. Yeah, um, yes. Your character develops a very strong relationship with Tando. Uh, but I want to know how do you approach you know that dynamic of a of of portraying such a close friendship on screen? Um, I think it was all assisted by Cat's uh, energy from the beginning. You know, um, I met her literally a week before I got cast for the show, and she's just like a really easy person to get to kind of be comfortable with. You know, so um, I think our chemistry just like sparked and made it easy for us to to work and it made it easy for me to get comfortable with her as well and that brought out magic from the character mm. and yeah. you, you speak about chemistry what is your first impressions after you guys did your chemistry test yo bro we were laughing eh? it's like yeah. I, did, I hadn't gotten the call yet but i was like yeah yeah if i don't get it it wasn't mine yeah it was literally that yeah we just hit it off from the get-go yeah Never met her in my life. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, in terms of Olani's character, he experiences, you know, the struggle between like fame and love. Uh, how have you, have you actually, have you ever personally faced a similar dilemma in, in, in your personal life where there's a, there's, a, there's a conflict between like, you know, your public figure and, you know, your, your, your personal relationships? I avoid love <laughs> at, at all costs. <laughs> Um, I'm not, I'm not the most datey kind of guy. I must be honest. I, I think a lot of men should actually get to the point of realizing what kind of men that they are. And I'm pretty honest about, I'm not a dater. I, it's not my vibe. I watch it from a distance. I don't like, I see people holding hands. I'm like, oh, does your hand get sweaty? You know what I mean? I'm that kind of guy. Um, but for me, I, I, but everything else, I think my, my sexuality has definitely been in, in, in topic in, in, in social media about, is he gay? He wears heels. He puts on makeup. Um, and I've always just, my aunt has always been, it's none of their business, my sexuality, or where I put my penis, really. So um, I don't care what people think, and their opinions of me mean nothing to me. Yeah. Uh, so it's never been a problem. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Sishi, you know, in terms of with, with your character, the series highlights um, the importance of communications in, in a relationship. Um, what role do you think or do you believe communication plays in the success of a relationship? Um, yeah, I believe communication is the key to success in relationships uh, because if you don't know what your partner is thinking, then you'll be on the wrong page and assumptions get made and then that miscommunication can lead to an entire breakdown of things that result in a breakup. So yeah, I, I think communication is key to any relationship. Yeah. yeah, and am I wrong in saying some of your music was featured as well on 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 the series? Yeah, um, which, which is really incredible, and which leads me to my next point: is that I mean, some of your other music has also featured in another Netflix film, Happiness Ever After. 
um, which, which I mean, you know, in terms of your age, at such a young age to be, you know, being for your music to be featuring on like two Netflix originals is three. It's, 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 it's incredible. Three, 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 three. <coughs> sorry, three, three, yeah. three Netflix yeah. originals what, is incredible. Blood and, blood and Water. Oh, Blood and Water. Sorry, my yeah. bad. Blood oh, and Water as well. Overachiever. Um, but what what does this recognition mean to for you as an artist? Um, so for me, it's it's really important that I capture emotion in what I do. So for this show, actually, the song that was that I wrote for the show was um, I wrote it for the show. It, it's with the other stuff they would take from my catalog, whereas this was a song specifically written for a specific scene. Um, I'm really excited to see how it all looks. I think it looks really really cool. Um, and your question, your question was um, the, the, in terms well, of the recognition. recognition. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, uh, for, for me, it's 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 great to know that the emotions I'm trying to channel and and express are shared in in other mediums of art, like series and movies. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll continue to do so, and I'm I'm really grateful for 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 all of this. Yeah. So I didn't know you did that, Dom. Yeah, man. Act and do music. Yeah, man. Little Tupac. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. Well, so, so, get you, man. Um, <laughs> you didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yo. How does your character's, character's journey um, reflect the broader societal issues? And what conversations do you think it'll ignite within the society? Uh, look, one, I think my character is the least favorite person in anyone's girlfriend's life. He's the male best friend. Yes, oh, yes, oh. yes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I agree. I, I am the best male friend. I get you, dog. I get you. I you also know? get you. That's what I asked I'm him. Like, I, I get I, that. I, yeah. I get you. Yeah. yeah. They don't get us. I, I, you know, I've, I've also, I've also been, um, in a situation where I was, you know, I wasn't the favorite guy because I had a, a female friend who was really close to me. So I, I think Charles's journey, you know, is, is it's very interesting because there's a lot of us out there, you know, like Siv right here. Misunderstood. Misunderstood, you mm, know, mm. Um, genuine intentions. And, you know, I guess the world just sees like a different person. So I think with this, you know, people can really get to see that, you know, guys, male best friends, are, you know, mm. they're, they're good guys, man. And also, um, I think... It's it, it's just like the friendship dynamics between um, Tando and, and and Charles, man. They're so beautiful, man. Like they're mm. so real. And I mm. think sometimes you know we, we we take our friendships for granted. You know? Yeah. And I think when people see that, man, we really gotta go back to the people that we really love. And you know, because some male best friends are just waiting in line. True. To be the some, next, of yeah. most yeah. some, some of them. Most. Some of them. Most. Yeah. M m most m most are waiting in line, and some of us are like. Sis. Genuine. Sis. We're like, sis. Sis, you experience. This is my experience. This is my um, no, I don't. <laughs> but personally, yeah. when I am a friend, I'm a very good friend. Yeah. yeah. My rule actually is, if I'm going to be your friend, you have to be able to talk to me about, like, your your guys without me being upset. If I get upset by it, then we can't actually, then we're not really friends. Yeah. So that's that's how I usually treat it in my and life. And if you're waiting in line, you are, you're, you're trash. Yeah. <laughs> but see, wh wh why so should sad. they be, ex uh, wh why should, I mean, you and I, we have something in, in common that we have uh, female besties, mm. right? Mm. W why would you say it should be acceptable in society and it shouldn't be such a big deal like a lot of people make? I think my best girlfriend makes me a better man because uh, I'm quite a black and white kind of guy. So I see things black and white and my best friend has taught me to see things that there's a gray. Mm. And that's a female pers perspective sometimes. They're a lot more, they think differently to how we think. We quite like... Kush, kush. And my, another thing she, that she's done to me that I've learned, it's the greatest lesson ever. Sometimes ladies just want to vent and you don't have to say anything back. They don't need to find a conclusion. They just want to vent and someone to listen. Yeah. And that's been a great lesson for me as a guy to go, okay, you don't like the shoe. You want to get another one? Okay. But me as a man, I go, go, do, go get another shoe. And I'm like, oh, yeah. it's not about the shoe. Yeah. You just want to get it out. And I think yeah. us men, we're about, this cup is black. Ha. Ladies are like, this cup is black with a bit of red there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's what I've learned from having a girl best friend. Yeah. Uh, it's hard work because every 28 days it gets lit. Uh, <laughs> for me. <laughs> but <laughs> it's lit. Yeah. And, I, and I'm pretty good at knowing, oh, okay. It's actually not 28. It's 27, 20, 
just before yeah. that I find. Yeah. And then I just have to be like, just take the boat, go with the blows. Go with the blows. Mm. But uh, every man should have a sister or a female uh, person in their life. Yeah. yeah. And in terms of your guys' wardrobe uh, for, for, for yourself, uh, Sia and Sishi, how much of an input did you guys have into your wardrobe? Because I think it was really good. And it kind of looks like it reflects best your 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 your, your character. So my wardrobe wasn't nice. No, not saying it no, wasn't no, sorry, nice. Can't, can't not can't saying it wasn't nice. <laughs> <laughs> but trash. theirs stood out. It's trash. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I um <clears throat> my yeah, I did have an input in the wardrobe I got to wear on your Christmas. Um yeah, I I I wanted, yeah, what I thought would represent my character best. And I had a couple of options. I mean, I didn't have the final say, though. I don't think I had the final say, but I, I, I do think that I, I contributed to the say. And I really loved, I think the wardrobe team did a stellar job um, at dressing us all appropriately for our characters. Um, yeah. And I can't wait for people to see it on the 15th of December. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, last question for you, Siv. Or do you, yes. No, it's, 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 it's literally so the same. Man. We, we really had an opportunity to do, 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 do you like this? Do you feel it? Do you don't? Because wardrobe does play a huge role in your performance, actually. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. so we, 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 did, we did get that opportunity. And yeah, man, like the little things there, you know, the jewelry, the stuff like that with my character, Charles, you know. Yeah, mm. okay. By the sound of it, my wardrobe lady didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, all I, that's all I heard. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Joking. Not saying that. I'm joking. Um, and and so, how much physical and mental preparation did you have to do? Because I see, like, oh, you like your character is like definitely boxing fitness, like the gym, bro. Yeah, so I must be honest. I I struggle with the altitude because I live in Cape Town, and you job people do not realize how hectic it is to work out in Joburg from Cape Town. It, it that's for me what was quite difficult because like, I'm very fit. But mm -hmm. I had a lot of physical activities up here in the series, which was pretty tiring. Um, but, you know, I, uh, the character for me, I, a lot of, I didn't tell you, but the character was Sio Khaleesi mixed with me in one character. Your so, mate, sir? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it was like a, it was a, a mixture of both. He was always high energy and very physical. Um, but for me, I think what I love the most about him is that sometimes the people who feel like they've got the hardest, the hardest uh, shell have some of the, the softest hearts. And I think the, the beauty of the trajectory of the, um, the character is, is beautiful. Yeah. No, awesome, guys. Thank you so much for joining me and congratulations on your Christmas and I hope everyone will be checking it out. Before you yeah. go, before yeah. you go, he told me secretly that he has a rap that he wants to do. Okay, Even sure. Go out. for it, Zishi. Oh, check me out. Check I'm me. joking. <laughs> 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 Anyways, guys, yeah, your Christmas Netflix 15th of December. Don't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was waiting for the rap, but, uh, <laughs> but anyways, it's a rap then. <laughs>